Um, Bob. Uh, Bob, just remind us of your statement. This is Steve, um, who I won his appendix from him in a bet. Right. <laughs> so, go on, do it to me. <laughs> so, I'm not willing to give you any information unless you ask for it. You're making me ask. <laughs> You're making me come to you cap in hand. Yes. I'm going, fill this with your nonsense. <laughs> fill this with, what, with whatever corrupted <laughs> boulder dash comes out of you and then I will put it on my head. <laughs> and set fire to it. No. So how do you know him? We were both members of what's called the Middlesbrough Supporters South Club and we watched the occasional football matches together as Middlesbrough supporters in London. So you'd w go to a pub and watch... Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, usually the same pub, the Witch Chief in Borough. That sounds plausible as a pub. I bet that exists. Can we just stay with that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK. And one day you're there watching the... Is this when the bet is... is uh, uh... Funnily enough, no. Oh. Right. <laughs> the match had finished, we stayed around for a booze, and me, Steve, and a couple of other, other lads. We went back to, um, not Steve's house, but one of the, um, our fellow Middlesbrough supporters who lives in Lant Street, just beyond the Witch Chief. How does the bet come about? We played darts. Oh. All right. We played darts for That's months. That's always nice to leave the pub, go home, play darts. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah. And then my du the duvet was a great big bar towel. <laughs> Just... <laughs> they still have bar towels. They're more like metal grids now. Yeah, the they've gridded them up. They've gridded them up and raised them. Yeah. It's, it's all yeah. preparing for A1 yeah. to take over. So... AI, sorry. A1! <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that film with Will Smith was called A1? <laughs> so, Bob, I have had my appendix removed. Me too. <gasps> And the only reason I knew I needed it removed is because suddenly, in a fit of pain, it started to proper bubble up. So, how can Steve now bet his appendix unless it's the day that it starts throbbing? He had it out as a child and it was in a jar with a little red top. And they'd, they'd come out red, but over the years it had turned yellow. And I thought that was a very nice transition, colour red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Red to yellow. And when it finally goes green, you're allowed to go, aren't you? <laughs> Does the bet come about? The bet comes about because I won, and I think it was quite a lot of money, 50 quid or whatever. Steve wanted a final game. Yeah. I didn't want a game. So I demanded, if I win, I take your appendix. Right. It's on the shelf with some wisdom to you. <laughs> but why is his appendix there? It... Ask Steve. <laughs> You well know I'm not allowed to ask Steve. No, but... but you're not in Steve's flat, are you? No. You've come to this flat straight from the pub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I realised. <laughs> <laughs> no, I realised that. Yes. Yes. He just brought it with him to the game. Oh, did I say it wasn't Steve's flat? Yes, you did say it wasn't. No, Steve's. no, it was Steve's flat in Lant Street. I do apologise. Okay, I mean, you definitely said it wasn't Steve's flat. Well, then I'm a fool and I'm ashamed. <laughs> He's trying to weigh up the odds here. <laughs> did I accidentally say the wrong name, or did he bring all bits of his body to the game <laughs> and put them on the mantelpiece? Okay. And he's very wisely gone for the wrong name. <laughs> it was Steve's flat. Yeah. Uh, suddenly. Um, <laughs> and, and so the various body parts are on the shelf <laughs> already. <laughs> And you win both his wisdom teeth and his appendix. Just the appendix. Oh, you left the teeth. Yeah, I didn't fancy them at all. all right. yeah. <laughs> oh, I had my wisdom teeth out the other day. Did you? The other day? You no. probably did that yourself in the kitchen. <laughs>